In my videos, I mentioned multiple times the importance of using scopes. These scopes help ensure that your color corrections are accurate and consistent, reducing the likelihood of errors that can be introduced when relying solely on visual judgment. And we obviously have some scopes available in DaVinci Resolve, but today I want to show you how to use Nope Omniscope, that are a very professional scopes created by Time in Pixels. They are extremely accurate, flexible, and they have some features that DaVinci Resolve scopes don't have. I also have a promo code and affiliate link, so in case you want to purchase the scopes after watching my tutorial, you can find them in the description below. And as it is an affiliate link, I also get a little bit from that, so I would appreciate if you use that. I hope you like the video. Today I will show you how to use Nope Omniscope in DaVinci Resolve, but Nope Omniscope is also compatible with multiple different softwares like Premiere Pro, After Effects or Scratch, and we can also use it to look at standalone video files. And if you want to use it with DaVinci Resolve, you can use it as a plugin, and this is what I will be showing you today, or you can run it on a separate standalone machine like Mac Mini. But now, let me show you how you can use it as a plugin in DaVinci Resolve. The easiest way to use Nope Omniscope plugin in DaVinci Resolve is to drop it onto a node that will affect the whole timeline. And to do this, in the node editor, let's just change clip to timeline. And here, in case you don't have a node created already, you'll need to hit option S to create a serial node. And then we can search in the effects tab for Nope Omniscope. And let's drop it onto the node. And this way, our Nope Omniscope will be applied to the whole timeline. And also, it's very important to remember not to apply any corrections onto the node that we've dropped the Omniscope on. Now we can select here, open Nope Omniscope. And when you launch your Omniscope for the first time, you have to connect it with DaVinci Resolve. And this is the layout I've created and I've saved it before, but I will show you in a second how you can create your own layout. And ideally, we should have our scopes on the separate monitor, but for the purpose of the screen recording, I have to keep it all on a single screen. Now, in order to be able to use Nope Omniscope as a plugin, you have to install it, at least on Mac computers. So when you go here to Options and then Install Plugins, you can install it. You can also install it in Scratch, Premiere Pro or After Effects if you want to. And then here in the Connect tab, you'll be able to connect it with Resolve. We can customize other options here as well. So for example, once we have our layout created, we can set it up to be opened every time we launch the plugin. And we can do it by going here to Options, then Preferences, and here I have my layout called Caches Selected, so it will always be loaded on a startup. Now I will show you how you can create your own layout, as when you will open your plugin for the first time, you will only have a blank page here. So when we go here to Scopes, we can choose from all of these scopes available. I will show you some of them in a second. Then we can also close them at any time. So let me close the false color and then I'll grab it again from the menu. And as you move your scope around, you'll get these little blue guides and it will really help you to position your scopes in a grid. So when I will move my scope on this indicator on the right, it will highlight the exact place where my scope will be positioned. And now I can change the size of it. And now I will move my other scopes around so you can see how easy it is to build your own layout. And now I can save this layout. So I'll go to layout, then save layout as and I will call it Caches 2. And this way I will be able to load it for my future projects. So just to demonstrate you, we can get rid of all 
of my scopes from here. And in order to load my previous layout, let's go to layout and let's select caches 2. Now, what's great about these scopes is that, as I have mentioned before, they are fully customizable. So here I can, for example, right click on my vector scope and I can change it to any other scope if I want to. So let's change it to waveform like this. But let me go back to the vector scope. And first I can split it onto shadows, midtones and highlights. Then I can, for example, disable the rings here. Then as my trace is white, I can, for example, colorize it over here. Then I can zoom it in so I can see my trace more clearly. So as you can see, you can really adjust it according to what kind of indicators are helpful for you. And now by hitting the tab key, we can get rid of all the menus from here if we don't want to see the names of our scopes like this then by holding alt we can transition our scope into our source image so let's start from saturation versus luma and we can also do it on our waveforms like this and here on the waveforms what i really like is that we can see our exact upper and lower peak readings highlighted in red. So it's a great visual reminder that we don't have in DaVinci Resolve. Then we can hit option S to be able to see a scope in the full view. And that was also very, very cool. We can draw a mask on the scope with the mouse and then we can lock it by holding shift. So I do it if I want to check my skin tones and how they align with the skin indicator in the vector scope. Now I also want to show you a cool scope that you can't find in DaVinci Resolve and this scope is called 3D Cube. So let's grab it. And here you can see your colors in 3D space. You can move it around. So it's a great learning process. And now let's maybe have a look at my false color we have all of these different standards in here but i use flanders which basically allows me to see all the overexposed areas when they are highlighted in yellow or red lastly i wanted to mention that a new version of omniscope was released this week which includes many new features like enhanced color management built on open color io a new QC timeline that displays potential errors in your program delivery, and much more. In fact, there are over 70 new features and improvements. I recommend visiting timingpixels.com and downloading the free trial to see if Omniscope works for you. Let's catch up on the next one.